We're staying in the 04 underscore viewports DWG file as usual, and you'll be following along with your locally saved version that you've downloaded from your lynda.com exercise files. We're looking at viewports, and one of the lovely features of viewports when you're in a layout tab is the ability to place a polygonal viewport in an irregular space. Now, remember, we are in a layout tab. I'm in the stair A layout tab bottom left corner of the screen, but I'm also in the layout tab on the ribbon so that I can work with my layout viewports. So you'll notice here's the viewport that we placed previously with our little GA view set to 1 to 200 scale. Here's our staircase viewport here set to 1 to 20 scale. You'll notice we have an irregular shape at the bottom of the screen there. So what we want to do now is we want to add a polygonal viewport to that part of the screen. Now we might not be able to zoom in in that viewport to anything regularly shaped in the model, but it would be nice to consider it. So let's have a look now at how this works. In the Layout tab on the ribbon, go to the Layout Viewports panel, select the flyout here, and go Polygonal. Now it asks for a start point, and you are in essence drawing a polyline. So you need to make sure that your object snaps are on, and at the very least use your endpoint and midpoint snaps. I'm going to start at this point here, and I'm just going to snap to each point of the viewport like that. Can you see every snap like that? And then I'm just going to pan upwards a little bit so I can see the bottom bit, come down to here, come along here like that, and then I can right click and on the shortcut menu I can close the viewport. Make sure that you are on your viewports layer, obviously, and look, it's actually placed a zoom extents view of the GA there. So what's really nice about that is I can double click inside that viewport, I can pan and I can move the view around in the viewport even though it's a polygonal shape. How cool is that? That allows me to fit viewports in all the weird and wonderful spaces I might have in a layout tab with a title block like this. So that's how you utilize your polygonal viewports when you're working in a layout tab in AutoCAD 2017.